Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc., the channel all about bringing you as much nerdy content as possible. It's that time again, we're doing our monthly rate up, it's February, and unfortunately there's nothing really exciting going on. We have eight days left on this uh, rate up, which by the time it expires it gives only two days left in February, and I just don't want to like push it that close to the end to get a, a video made so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rate up now i'm only gonna do thirty thousand diamonds nothing crazy uh but instead of the regular like this fire lowly uh rate up i'm just gonna do advanced summon and we're just gonna see what craziness we can pull all right so let's just hop right into it we're gonna go ahead and do this uh 10 plus one uh, there's nothing really, I mean, there's always stuff that we could use. I mean, if you watch these, I say pretty much the same stuff every month. It's nothing too, like, out there. Uh, I really would like to get some more lights, if possible. That would be really good. Uh, some light level 5s for mastery fodder, really. I don't need anything too amazing. Oh my god, oh, we got a triple already. Uh, what the heck? That's uh, pretty awesome. Okay, cool. First batch. Wow. What are the chances? Uh, just an Earth Luminous. Uh, yep. I mean, we came in here not expecting anything too crazy. So, but still, wow. A five-star, like, right off the bat. Uh, he's, he's a really outdated dragon. It's not really worth running now. An Earth type isn't really anything special. Uh, could I use him for mastery? Yeah, I've got, I've got plenty of things that I can throw him at. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, but really, we're looking for some light and dark types. Uh, my Dark Monus is getting really close. I think he's at Mastery 8, I want to say. So I need two more darks. I have a Dark Power Dragon just, like, sitting there. But I've always just sit there and stared at him and debated using him for Mastery. Probably his, he's my only dark tank. All right. Keep on moving here. He's my only dark tank. So if I got rid of him, I wouldn't have anything else. Uh, I need to just kind of look at something else entirely. Some kind of support type uh, to put in there on that team. I did actually get a Earth or a Dark... Um, oh, what is it? He is the Dark... I'm drawing a blank. Cupid. Yeah, the Dark Cupid Dragon. Uh, which is, you know, I can build him pretty tanky. Not as a tank, but I can just put a lot of, you know defense and HP runes on him and stuff like that. Problem is he doesn't really do a whole lot for my team. Uh, I guess because I have the Dark Arcana on my Tower of Test team, he's good for that. But he doesn't really trigger enough to warrant, and eventually I want to get rid of my Dark Arcana off that team. So, uh, need something else. Uh, just Dark Cupid's not going to do it, because eventually Dark Arcana is going to come off that team. So... That's why I keep the power dragon around, just because of that. But, I don't know. If I got if it got really down to it, and I pulled a dark type, and I was only one away from Mastery 10 on Dark Monus, oh man, it's really questionable. Uh, and I keep the, the, the Dark Cupid, because he's really good for Ancient Tower, because he ha his uh, drag skill removes barriers. So, there's lots of, there's like four stages i want to say four stages that he's really useful uh because the uh the light psyker dragon puts up a barrier and the fire sura uh puts up a barrier so he's great for those those four levels of ancient tower um, yeah so that's why i can't really justify getting rid of him either if i had something else anything else that got rid of barriers then i could justify using my Dark Cupid for <laughs> Mastery Fodder. So if you have any suggestions on barrier removal, let me know. Oh my god, we got another triple already! What the heck? Oh my god! <laughs> uh, it's just a Fire Ordo, it's nothing crazy, but oh my god! <laughs> and sorry, I'm not getting like too loud. Uh, my baby is asleep in the next room, so... I have to leave the door open so I can hear her. <laughs> but dang! I mean, again, not anything I'm going to use. It's just more mastery fodder, but dang, that was fast. Wow, so we're uh, so that was set three then that we just did. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
If we get a third triple crack in this, like off of a just an advanced summon, dang. Uh, just dang. Again, I don't think we're anything good, but still. Uh, some good stuff that I could use though, uh, mellow dragons. I'm always looking for more mellow dragons. I've only got the earth type right now. Dang, that's a lot of four stars though. That's four, three four stars right off the bat. Um, yeah, so uh, Mellow Dragons would be really cool to get our hands on. More Tilkies. I think I've only got the Earth one right now, so I'd like all the other elements uh, of all the Tilkies. That would be really good. Uh, what else? What else? I don't know. I'm feeling really good in a lot of my positioning in this game. Oh, man. I know I don't like I don't really talk about topaz dragons because I'm like very free to play. I, I've spent six dollars on this game ever, or no, it's five dollars, four ninety nine, and it didn't even get me anything. So I'm very free to play. But man, that new Armageddon topaz looking really spicy. Ugh, I want it so bad, but it's like insanely hard to get. Uh, it's through the uh, the wish ball, wishing ball event, which should be still going by the time this video comes out. Uh, but it's like a you have to get all the way to stage five on the wishing ball, right? Which is already pretty difficult to do. And then on top of that, it's a 0.5 percent chance of pulling it. So I mean, to actually get it, it's even less than 0.5 because getting the chance to pull it is like already extremely difficult it's like 50 it's a 50 50 shot three times in a row so you have to trigger that three times in a row to get to that point which i don't know the math on getting it correct three times in a row with 50 50 but i'm sure it's not too great and then yeah on top of that just a 0.5 percent chance okay so uh, yeah i'm not even gonna consider trying to go for something like that talk about expensive too and they already give so many free wishing balls. Like, it's a hundred something wishing balls that they give for free on that event. And even then, like, most players won't get it out of, you know, over a hundred attempts among the entire player base. Nah, nah, not even worth, not even worth trying to go after. If it was, like, a guaranteed, like, you know, to spend $300 and boom, you get it. I, you know, I might do, like, a GoFundMe or something like that. Uh, you know, and if the if it makes, then everyone pays something like that. Not just donate money, and if we don't get the three hundred dollars, it doesn't happen. <sighs> but we'll see. And then I don't know. I was waiting like everyone that did it, or like a Kickstarter or something like that. And then everyone that donates get like access to like a private video where I cover it and I go in depth on it. Because I don't do dragon reviews on Topaz Dragons. I've talked about them, but I don't think I've ever done a dragon review. I know I've definitely talked about Mithra before, but... Or Verna. Verna's really good. Come on, give us another triple. Dang it. Let's see, so we talked about Mellow. We talked about Tilky, so we need those... We talked about needing uh, some light and dark fodder, of course. Nothing new there. Um, let's see. My earth bottom lane is good. My earth top lane is good. Uh, fire? Who am I running on fire? Yeah, of course fire is good. I've got uh, fire dark bane there maxed out. Um, need the fire tilki for top lane, though. Water, water, such a frustrating like level to go against, but uh, that's for the Earth team to deal with. Well, I've got the water mini dragon and then the water hedge bat. I need the water tilki for top lane. I've got two of oh, what's his name? He's the support dragon that like everyone's Urian. I've got two Urian. I've got a water and an Earth, so we're pretty covered there uh, I think so that's good I don't know I mean we're in a good position in the game right now uh, light 
light type bottom lane. I have light mini dragon. What other light bottom lane dragon is there that's a DPS? All right, looks like we got three more, three more sets to do here. I can't think of anything. Is there, there's not a light dark bane? Is, there's a light Poseidon, I think. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Light Poseidon. Yeah, I've got the light mini. No light dark bane. So there's got to be a light Poseidon that I need. Because we don't have a light hedge bat. If we had a light hedge bat, I would just go for a light hedge bat. But we don't have that. Oh my god, we got another triple. I don't have this good luck ever when it's an actual rate up of something we want. Why do I get all this luck now? I, I, it's just a party dragon, a fire party dragon, but goodness gracious. I wish it was something we could have used, or, or at least some fodder or something. Like, one time I want to list off one of these dragons and we actually get it, you know? Aside from, like, just trying to get the rate up, I would like to actually get one of these, like, random dragons I spout off in these videos. All right. Uh, so yeah, Light Poseidon. That'd be really nice. And uh, that's kind of it. Yep, yep. We're uh, we're finally getting to that point in this game where I'm just like, out of regular, just non-limited dragons, there's not a whole lot. There's not a whole lot. Uh, I mean, okay, I could use some more healers. I guess if I really had to get like really nitpicky here. Uh, a light healer five star would be cool, but I can't mastery it. So is there really a point? I might as well just stick to my light lady, honestly, because uh, like light Xenos would be cool, light smart would be really cool, but I'll never get to mastery fodder them, or I I won't ever get to master them. So why even try to get those? It's kind of my thought process. That's why I usually don't ever mention those. Man, something, something about that crack just like felt like time just slowed down on waiting for that second one. We shouldn't get a fourth one. We should not get a fourth one in only 30,000 diamonds. Like, it should not happen. We are getting a lot of double cracks, though. Like, lots of these sets had, you know, twos and threes. That's a lot of doubles. And there's not any kind of like, look at this, another double? Like, holy crap. Four four double cracks in that one set. And this it's not like we're in a rate or like a you know times two event or anything. It's just being really, really generous. Alright, is this the last set or is there one more? I lost I lost count. I, th I think there's one more after this. We should end with like around twenty one thousand diamonds. Because we started with 51,000, so. Wow. That's pretty awesome, though. Uh, but yeah, Armageddon. Oh, man. That thing is nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. It's so good. It's It reminds me a lot of uh, Light Spirit. But even stronger. It's like if Light Spirit and, I don't know, uh, Dragon Slayer had a baby... Yeah, because Dragon Slayer does nutty damage, like stupid, crazy damage multipliers, right? And that's what this has. It has cr stupid, crazy damage multipliers. Um, but it also has silence, and you can silence the whole team. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It was a target kind of five silence. Oh, my God. And uh, it it's a little weird, weirdly worded on one of its abilities, though, is... Um, I know this is not a review for him, but if you're this far in the video and you're still watching me talk... Uh, here's a little bit of bonus information. All right, yeah, so last set right here coming in. So i got to get all that information out right now. Um, and the sound just disappeared. That's weird. Okay. Um, but, yeah, so his it's over 30 seconds. He, like, silences the whole enemy team, which is wild. Um, but it's a 30-second cooldown which seems really steep. And they, even in this game, that seems really, really steep. Uh, but he has another skill that if you put an attack debuff on him, he removes it and then resets a skill. The problem is the skill listed there isn't any of his skills. 
uh it's kind of worded weird it's like venge it's like something like fire flames of destruction and is the one skill that silences everyone and then this next skill says reset uh flames of vengeance right or something like that it's like vengeance and retribution but depending on where they're you know the translation could be the same thing and it could just be translated into two different english words but originally it was still the same word so which makes me think that oh my god if you get to reset that skill every time and just keep repeatedly using it oh shoot man that's gonna be crazy all right so that is it huh oh no looks like this last one right here okay so there it is 30,000 diamonds we didn't get anything too crazy I got enough mileage I guess to get an egg for uh, next week's video next week's videos we're gonna be pretty freaking fire we have a lot of big eggs coming so stay tuned for that because that's gonna be awesome okay uh we got a lot of uh, five stars though so that's pretty cool so, so got some mastery fodder didn't get anything too hopping though like i don't know nothing, nothing about this got me excited so it is what it is you know these videos do happen every so often uh we have been getting a lot of good stuff here lately so it, it makes sense that we have to have a lull every once in a while so i tried to hold out hoping for something good but then that dark or that fire lowly popped up and i was just like meh so Hopefully next month will be a lot better. Hopefully we're going to get some really cool dragons in raid up. Some new, new is always fun. Good new though. Not none of this damage over time crap. Okay, enough of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment uh, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, I try to put it out as much as possible. So definitely subscribe. Also, if you really enjoyed the content, check out my uh, Patreon. I have a link in the description below for it. You can get access to my Discord server, as well as your, if you're a Dragon Village M fan, account takeovers where I help you out with your account. If you're a Digimon fan, I've got monthly giveaway. Well, not even giveaways. I've got monthly merch that's specific to Patreon. Stuff like memory counters custom made this is the uh, the baby form of vmon here there's gonna be more in the works also so lots of memory counters all kinds of awesome digimon merch so definitely check out that tier and if you're just all out crazy there's other tiers if you're that dedicated uh, as well as check out my teespring i've got awesome merch there you know official battle ready ink merch awesome phone cases for you digimon fans out there uh they've got them for iphones as well as uh samsung's so they are super sweet if you've seen the the last digimon movie that's where these are from i had a friend of mine custom make these so that way they fit perfectly on these phone cases they look super good so definitely check those out but at the end of the day if you can't do any of that just like i said like the video that helps a ton and subscribe it doesn't hurt but it helps me so that's what's the, the real benefit. And as always, I'll see you next time.